Hi guys, it's Ben here. I've had a few days off. I've had a few days of not even thinking about Liverpool, not even thinking about football really, apart from a few bets here and there into international football. But it's time to come to terms with the fact that we have to go and watch Liverpool versus Manchester United this weekend. Um, some people might be feeling quite positive after the international break. Maybe the momentum that we completely lost might be regained now. Some people might still, like me, be feeling a bit down about things and thinking that the title race is gone as far as our hopes are concerned and that United are going to come to Anfield and teach us a lesson or two. Um, I'm not quite so extreme that way, but that is the way I'm leaning. Um, I've been so glad to get away from it. It's not all doom and gloom, and I know some of you are going to say, look, yes, we've drawn with Newcastle, we drew against Burnley, we won one game in seven, which is obviously a huge concern, but mathematically we're still there or thereabouts, we're still in Europe and fighting, and you know, we've still got the FA Cup to come, so this season shouldn't be considered over, but I'm already at the point where I'm very disappointed with the squad we've got in our hands, I'm disappointed with the form some of the players are in, and I'm just feeling completely flat, and I've accepted that this season we're not going to win a Premier League. Um, but that's another story for another day. Let's look just at Saturday. Um, biggest game of the season, I'll be there. Um, it's, it's so nerve-wracking, United coming to Anfield. I almost prefer going to Old Trafford because there's less to lose when they come into your own backyard and they're in such good form. Um, you just feel like they can steamroll you. It's a horrible, horrible feeling. And they are the favourites going into this one. They're 6-4, to four, where we're 7-4. to four. Um, So form, odds, uh, momentum is all in their favour. And injuries as well. I mean, yes, they're missing Pogba. Yes, they're missing Fellaini, who have both been key players for them in the last few weeks. But the Sadio Mane six-week hamstring injury just comes as a huge, huge blow for us. And add, add that to, to Lallana and, you know, Klein and other, other things we've got. Uh, issues with form as well. And it's not a recipe for success. And for that reason, I'm very pessimistic going into this. Um, you know, you might you might find it a bit depressing watching me be like this, but look, I really hope I'm proved wrong. I, I, if we win this game, then look, I'll be delighted going into the rest of the next few weeks. But um, let's get into predicted eleven. Mignolet in goal, of course. Now the right back situation is one that I I'm just sick of. Um, do, we, do we miss Klein? Yes, but I'm just so disappointed in Gomez um, and. Alexander Arnold still doesn't quite look ready to, to be pushing Klein for a first choice. I play James Milner at right back. I want this to happen at Newcastle. I want it to happen now. Um, he's good on the ball. He'll be reliable defensively as well. That's just what I'd do. Um, I'd start, of, of course, Matip and Lovren uh, at centre back, and then I'd go Robertson at left back. But I know he's going to go for Moreno, but let's just go with it. Um, now, the midfield is where it gets a bit tricky. Do we need to play Henderson, Chan, and Vinaldum? Um, and push Coutinho on, onto, onto the left. I still want to keep Coutinho uh, in midfield and play uh, Henderson and probably Emre Chan next to him uh, and then go for a front three of Salah, Firmino and Oxley chamberlain A big chance for Oxley chamberlain in Mane's absence to play on the wing for a bit. I know he wants to play midfield, but play on the wing for a bit. Prove yourself. Um, get, get to the bottom line. Create some stuff. Score some goals. Let's see. Um, the only tough one there, of course, is Vinaldum or Chan. I'll probably side towards Chan just about. The right back one is tough as well. Both full backs situations are pretty bleak, but um, it is what it is. Now, I've got Football Terrace on the channel. Terry Flewers from Football Terrace from the United side is going to give his predicted 11 from them and a score prediction. So let's have a look at what he has to say. Hello, I'm Terry Flewers from the Football Terrace. Manchester United travel to Anfield. 12.30 kickoff this coming Saturday in the English Premier League. Form goes out the window. Conversion rates, injuries, what managers under pressure, whatever it may be, none of this matters. It's the biggest game in world football. It's the biggest game of the season. Form flies straight out that window, as I've already mentioned, and it's going to be an epic encounter. Manchester United cannot stop scoring. Liverpool cannot stop conceding goals. However, the element, the concoction and cocktail that is a derby match leads me to believe that Liverpool will improve in certain areas, especially when it comes to finishing chances and putting the ball in the back of the net. You add that in to the fact that Man United themselves have been leaking chances, they have been leaking opportunities to their opponents since about the Leicester City game. 
There will be goals, goals and even more goals. I am sure of it. In terms of Manchester United, the team they're going to pick, De Gea is in goal. It's not even debatable. Antonio Valencia, at left back, right back, Ashley Young. Who would have thought it? That our wingers from four or five years ago would now be our best fullbacks at the club. Never saw that one coming. Defensively, Phil Jones appears as though he's going to be fit. So him and Eric Bailly next to each other. Midfield is the difficult one. Nemanja Matic, of course, plays in central midfield. Next to him, and Herrera will come in for the injured Pogba and Marouane Fellaini, respectively. In front of them, then we have an attacking three. The number 10 hole has to go to Henrik Mkhitaryan. Right-hand side, Juan Mata. The Spaniard dominated this fixture a number of seasons ago, capping it off with a wonderful overhead kick. My God, I would love another um, performance from one matter like that. On the left-hand side, I would start with Anthony Martial. A short Manchester United career, but already been devastating and scored a couple of goals against Liverpool across numerous competitions, and I want to see him play. And then up front, the big man himself, Lukaku. Goals, 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 goals. He is a scoring machine. One of the best strikers in European and world football. Now needs to start proving it against the biggest teams on the planet. And no better time to start than at Anfield this coming Saturday. I believe he's going to get himself on the score sheet. In fact, I know he is going to score. I am absolutely sure of it. Score predictions though, as I've said, this isn't going to be a foregone conclusion. This isn't going to be a game where Liverpool's defensive frailties cost them. It will be a score draw. A 2-2 or a 3-3 is what I think is what I'm predicting. But, uh, but you make sure you leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. Check out my channel, The Football Terrace. Hit the subscribe button both here and there. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. So Terry thinks a 2-2 draw. Uh, and he's got the United 11 for us there. Now on paper, I think that's probably, you know, I think we can all agree that is stronger than ours. So they are the favourites in my eyes. And I am going to, I'm afraid pick them to win this game 2-0. Um, as I said on Terry's channel, on Football Terrace, which I'll put in the description, make sure you check that out. Big, great football channel with loads of cool content on there. Um, I said on there, I think they're going to win 2-0. Um, I can't see Lukaku not scoring, and we're just not in good enough goal-scoring form. We need to regain that momentum. Um, we go to Wembley next week as well, so it's not going to get any easier for us. Um, we need to turn this around ASAP, but I just don't see that happening in this game. I think Mourinho is due a win at Anfield with United. Uh, I think they've got a good enough side to come here and actually uh, show some intent to win the game rather than just part of the bus like they did last year. I think they're going to come in and yeah, I don't think our defence is playing well enough to uh, to survive and I don't think our strikers are firing enough to punish them at the other end. So I'm going to pick a 2-0 United win. I'm going to get a lot of hate comments from you because of that. That's just me being honest. I'd love to come on here and say I think we're going to win 5-0 but that wouldn't be my honest opinion. I genuinely do think we're going to come up second best in this one and I think the same is going to happen at Wembley. Doesn't mean I, th I think we're going to, doesn't mean I don't think we're going to come back firing in sort of November and, and turn it around and find ourselves in a respectable, respectable position by Christmas because I do think we will be. Um, but the next two games, for me, I can't see us taking much from. So as I say, make sure you check out Terry's channel, The Football Terrace, in the description below. You probably haven't enjoyed this video because it's been so negative, but I am back, and Liverpool are back this weekend. Let's hope for the best. I'll be back, of course, with player ratings and stuff. I am going to the game, so it'll be a day trip video, I imagine. Uh, I'll see you next time.